honest with you, media and the financial media, we're loving it. In fact, I hope one day to find as much joy in anything as some of the financial media found when those AMC shares started to turn down. Those miles were priceless. Well, as it turns out, AMC's management did sell those 11.5 million shares. And once the street found out, once the investors found out they've raised 587 million, guess what happened with the stock? It started to turn higher. But one thing is lingering, and that is a statement, part of the statement uh, from the AMC CEO, and it's this line. Under the circumstances, we caution you against investing in a Class A common stock unless you are prepared to incur the risk of losing all or substantial a substantial portion of your investment. Now, of course, none of this news is news per se, but for anyone that was looking maybe to ring the register, it provided the perfect cover. So what will the apes do now? Joining me now is the host of Trey's Trades on, on YouTube, Trey Collins. Trey, uh, obviously you've been a strong advocate for what I call the Reddit Investor re Revolution, and, and you know the, the move in AMC uh, you know, you always say it wasn't about near-term fundamentals. Uh, in the financial media, they still don't get it. You know, they compare it to, look at the market cap versus this company and that company. <laughs> tell the world, tell the financial media what this has always been about. What is this movement about? Well, Charles, first off, I'd like to extend a thank you for uh, giving the opportunity for millions of apes to be able to speak out about the culture and story, you know, being written by AMC Stock right now. I think they're getting the wrong picture with this uh, this this whole segment. We understand perfectly clear that this is not about fundamental value in this moment in time. They're, they're doing this as black and white when that's not the case. This is a message. This is a legacy that the apes are trying to write right now to send a message to the short sellers, hedge funds, and institutions who have been blatantly betting against and, and, and frankly, you know, taking advantage of the institution. The, the retail investor, you know, over these past six months, year, five years, ten years, and, and show them that we are stronger than they think we are. We're smarter than they think we think they are, and uh, you know, we're better. That's as simple as it is. Uh, and now, of course, you're going to have a second interview with AMC CEO Adam Aaron tonight. Uh, I think the lawyers, by the way, pressured him into that statement. Let's not forget. Uh, he made a serious overture to uh, to investors yesterday. I'm pretty sure someone called him up and said, "Listen, you're going to have to come out with something." So with that in mind, do you feel like he let the community down with that statement this morning? You know, that's a great question, Charles. I think Adam Aaron does a perfect job of managing the long-term growth of the company as well as paying attention to the short term of, of what the retail investors are looking for. In fact, I think he sets the bar. I think he sets the standard. It's very easy for the media to talk about that statement that he put out. But what about the the Investor Connect, the AMC Connect that came out that helps connect the AMC investors and reward them for, for following the company? I think there's so many great things that Adam Aaron does to, to focus on, you know, one specific statement that likely was kind to come to fruition because of legalities is is doing him injustice. He, he does a great job. He sells stock at the right time. He's he's generated a lot of cash. Cash is king. You already stated earlier there is five hundred eighty-seven million dollars for the company, and the stock price is booming. I think that speaks monuments of how uh, how great of a CEO Adam Aaron truly is. Considering all the negative media, right, which is almost all the financial media. How important was it for AMC to sort of climb off the canvas today to just keep everyone kind of stoked and confident? Right, right. So the last six months has, has been a slow wind up to kind of the, the, the storybook that you're reading right now on the charts. And I think over that period of time, there's been a lot of the retail investors or the apes who have been studying, doing due diligence, crunching numbers. And I think most importantly, you know, emotionally preparing themselves because the last squeeze that, that happened back in January, there was, I think, a lot of things to be learned. And this much time built into now, I think people were emotionally prepared for the sort of moves that have happened here. And to have that momentum continue obviously is, is a great a great uh, opportunity right, to right. give some good momentum and uh, and hype to the community i mean that's ultimately what it comes down to is keeping spirits high keeping the new apes out there who join the community happy and, uh, and and telling those stories i got less than a minute trey just tell us what is the end game you know so the, the end game for this go? charles the end game for this is, is pretty simple. We want to send a message to the short sellers that says, look, we, we are the dumb money and we are proud of it. We are here to to show that <laughs> when, when, when people do their, their research and their, their due diligence, they can make money. They can call us dumb money all day long and we'll endear that term because people have their own reasons, their own whys, whether it's for you know the, the long-term investments of the company, the short term, which is you know I think the majority of people, they have stories that they want to be understood and told. And I think that's ultimately what this comes down to is coming together for a, a good cause and, and, and uh, you know showing the world that look the apes are here to stay they're not going anywhere there's bulls there's bears and now there's apes simple as it gets trey my man 
Can't wait to watch our interview with Aaron. Uh, and congratulations. Uh, you know, you've been there from the beginning. You've been strong. And a lot of people look up to you, and so do I. Talk to you again real soon. Coming up. I appreciate Patrice that, Charles. Patrice Wukong, Biden laying out a number of things for the 